So I run a site called Future Tools where I curate all of the coolest AI tools that I come across. And as of right now, there's 2,431 tools. I'm adding new tools every day, but I know that is super, super overwhelming. So in this video, I wanna break down the best free AI tools that are out there. Not only are these the best free AI tools, they're also the ones that I tend to find the most useful. Starting with probably the most obvious one that pretty much everybody already knows about, which is of course, ChatGPT. Yes, ChatGPT has a free version and a paid version, but the free version is still a very, very useful. I find the free version to be really, really useful for getting advice, coming up with ideas for things like videos and titles, for copywriting, it has a ton of amazing uses. I'm not gonna go too deep into this one. I've made a ton of videos about it, so has pretty much every other YouTuber on the planet, but you can find it over at chat.openai.com. But it's not the only free chat bot in town. We also have Google Bard, which just recently got an update with Gemini Pro. I tend to find Google Bard to be one of the better chat bots when you have the need to actually browse the web with your chat bot. So for example, if I ask it, who makes the best burritos in San Diego? It does a great job of breaking down the top contenders and it even highlights in different colors to let you know how confident it is about a specific response. You can get access to Bard completely free by going to bard.google.com. And then we have Claude from Anthropic. Like ChatGPT, it has both a free and a paid plan, but I found the free plan to be perfect for my needs. What I find Claude to do the best is to summarize really, really long content. Claude now has a 200,000 token context window, meaning that it can both ingest and give back up to 150,000 words making it great for uploading long PDFs or pulling in long articles for websites and having it summarize those for you and allowing you to have back and forth conversations with them. For example, if I was to take this 18 page PDF about Neuroangelo from NVIDIA, drop it into Claude here and tell it to summarize this research paper into bullet points, you can see it took that 18 page paper that's almost nine megabytes and summarized the whole thing down into about six bullets so that I can quickly understand it. And then I can do things like explain it like I'm five and get an even more basic explanation of exactly what this paper is about. So although I personally do pay for ChatGPT Pro, I actually haven't found the need yet to upgrade to a Claude Pro account. The free version does exactly what I need it to. Then we have Character AI. This is another free chat bot. However, this one is more designed to be a fun conversation with fictional characters. Where the other three have been great for summarization, research, advice, ideation, things like that, character AI is more designed to be a playful, fun chatbot where you pick a fictional character or create a fictional character and just have silly conversations. This one is really, really popular among younger generations because it's just a fun, entertaining, playful bot. So for example, I can talk to Elon Musk bot here. It gives a quick explanation of who he is. Then I can ask him, what have you ever done for this world? And then of course he goes off and says, my company's revolutionized transport, sustainable energy, digital finance, and brain computer interfaces. They're shaping the future of humanity, creating millions of jobs and fighting the climate crisis. So you can learn more about Character AI, which again, 100% free over at character.ai. Next up, let's talk about Perplexity. Personally, I love the Perplexity Chrome extension. Perplexity also has its own standalone bot that you can use, but I find myself using the Chrome extension more than the actual website itself because it can actually find information from the website you're looking at. So for example, if I go to the Future Tools website, I click on the little Perplexity icon up here, I can change the focus to this domain or this page or search the entire internet. Let's set it to this domain and say, what tools can create AI videos for me and do a quick search. It's going to search the Future Tools website and find tools on this website that will create AI videos for me. I can also have it summarize an article quickly for me. So let's say I'm on this Verge article here. I can click the perplexity icon, change the focus to this page and say, summarize this article for me. I then get a quick summary of what's going on in this article. Super, super handy, 100% free to use. To get access to the Perplexity Chrome extension, simply go to perplexity.ai. Down in the bottom left, click on the download button and you'll see the option to get the Chrome AI companion. 
Next, let's talk about text effects. This is actually a tool that was built in collaboration between Google and Lupe Fiasco, and it's really designed to help you sort of get through writer's block and be more creative. So if you're a musician or a poet or a writer, and you need some help finding words that are similar to other words, text effects helps with that. Just one example of something it can do is create an acronym. So I can say future, run that, and it creates a handful of acronyms. Find ultimate truths reached ultimately. Find understanding through universal respect and empathy. And that's just one of 10 different tools that are on here. They have an alliteration tool where you can find words that start with a chosen letter. The chain tool, build a sequence of words where each word relates to the last one. Explode, create phrases that sound similar to a given word. Fuse, find similarities between unrelated things. It's really helpful if you're trying to write and the right words just aren't coming to mind. While we're on the topic of cool free AI stuff, HubSpot has a brand new HubSpot Academy course called AI for Marketers. This course is gonna help you take your marketing strategies to new heights with AI. It's going to equip you with the knowledge and skills to effectively leverage artificial intelligence tools from optimizing content creation to gaining predictive insights. You'll learn how to use AI ethically and responsibly in your marketing efforts. Predictive modeling helps anticipate future interests, purchases, churn risk, lifetime value, and more. AI recommendation engines can also analyze product affinities, purchase history, and behavior to predict which items a customer may prefer. Before I went down the AI rabbit hole, my personal career was in digital marketing. I combined my two loves, my love for digital marketing and my love for AI to create the career that I have for today. That's why I think this free academy course from HubSpot is the absolute perfect complement to this channel. Over the course of 15 videos, you'll learn from HubSpot Academy's senior professor, Crystal King. You'll learn how to develop the skills to critically analyze and craft prompts, as well as understand and evaluate outputs generated by AI, optimize your marketing strategies, and personalize your customer experience by leveraging the power of AI, and incorporate AI seamlessly into your marketing campaigns, revolutionize content creation and distribution, boost your SEO strategies, and utilize AI-powered tools for effective performance tracking and analytics. And again, 100% free. You'll find the link to this Academy course down below in the description. And thank you once again to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about some free image generation tools. Personally, my favorite is Leonardo.ai. It's not technically free. However, for the cost of $0 a month, you can generate up to 150 images a day. That's a lot of images. You can also upscale up to 30 images a day, remove up to 75 backgrounds from images every day, and it generates some amazing images with just a ton of available models to choose from and create images with. But one of the coolest features that they recently added that's free for everybody to use right now is their real-time canvas. If I give a prompt like a uh, robot on the moon, you can see literally as I'm typing, the image is changing over here. Let's set the background to black. And you can see just by changing the background over here to black, it changed our robot. Now by setting my brush here, and let's say picking a silver color, I could start to draw my robot here. Right now it thinks it's the moon, but let's give it some arms like this. And as I'm drawing in real time, you can see it actually updating my image over on the right in real time. And it is free to use right now by going to app.leonardo.ai slash realtime canvas. Next up, we've got Dolly 3, which we'll use directly through the Microsoft Bing image creator. Dolly 3 is one of the most prompt adherent AI image generators right now, and it makes really good images. Let's use the prompt, a mountain of tacos with a sign next to it that says free tacos. And you can see it generated four images with a mountain of tacos. Now it didn't actually put the sign free tacos, but you can see a sign that says all you can eat on it. So it kind of got the essence of what I was looking for. Now Bing image creator gives you a certain amount of credits, but once you use the credits up, it's still free to use, the images just generate slower. The next free AI image generator is called Ideogram. And this was one of the first image generators that came out that was really good at adding text to the image. Let's try the same prompt, a mountain of tacos with a sign that says free tacos. For the most part, it did pretty good. We got a mountain of tacos with the word tacos, free tacos, free tacos, free tacos. You can find this one over at ideogram.ai. And again, 
This one is probably the best available if you wanna make sure that text is also included in your AI generated image. Next up is Playground AI. This is an AI image generator that gives you the option of a bunch of different models, including Playground's new V2 model. You could see some images I generated in one of my previous videos here. And similar to Leonardo, you've got a few base models that you can use, but then there are a bunch of different filters that you can use which give the images that you generate sort of a different style. Now this one is free to use, but you'll notice there is a pricing tab. And when we click on it, we can see that this allows you to generate up to 500 images per day for free and even use them commercially. By the way, Leonardo lets you use them commercially too. So just wanna answer that before it pops up in the comments. Next up, let's talk about some cool free AI image editing tools. For example, we've got this magic eraser tool. It allows you to upload images and erase sections from that image. For example, here is an image that I took at Disneyland of like an X-Wing here. And you can see the words exit right here. And I don't really like this little lip that's sticking out into the image. Let's clean it up a little bit. I'll go ahead and clean up that exit, click erase, and it removed the word exit from the image. Let's get rid of this little thing, click erase. And now we've got a flat image. So this one you can find over at magicstudio.com slash magic eraser, but let's go ahead and upscale it. If I go to upscale.media, I could pull in this image that we just created. Let's flip on the enhanced quality here. And now as I move my mouse over the image here, you can see the difference between the original and the upscaled version. We can download our image here. And now we have a much higher resolution image with our items removed. Now here's kind of a fun one. This one's called Leapix Converter, and it will take your 2D images and convert them into sort of 3D animated images. So for example, I have this image here made in Leonardo of this kind of crashed rocket ship thing. If I drag and drop this image right here into Leapix Converter, we can see the magic as it converts it into this 3D sort of video here. And there's all sorts of settings. We can change the depth of it, change the animation style, animation length, the amount of motion, and so much more to get a really cool sort of 3D animation from a 2D image. Next, let's talk about auto draw. This is another one from Google and you can kind of think of it like auto correct, but for images, let's say I want an image of a cat, but I'm really bad at drawing cats. Well, I can draw a little circle here and you can see up at the top, it starts giving me images. Did you mean? And then it has all these options, but I want it to look like a cat. So let's keep on drawing a cat. Let's give it a head, some ears, some legs. Isn't this a beautiful cat? Let's give it a little nose with some whiskers. It now knows I'm trying to draw a cat. So I can select this cat or this cat or this cat or this cat and have it automatically generate a better drawing of a cat for me. You can find this one over at autodraw.com. This one's really cool. This one's called Blockade Labs, and it allows you to create 360 degree worlds from a text prompt. So I can give it a prompt like a colorful video game world set in outer space. And then we have some styles to choose from. Let's pick illustrative and digital painting and click generate. And here's my colorful video game world that's set in outer space that it generated for me. This is pretty wild. Again, this is called Blockade Labs. You can find it over at skybox.blockadelabs.com. Now let's talk about 3D AI. Luma Labs is a tool that allows you to scan in images from the real world and it turns them into a 3D object. So I can actually click in here and drag around and look at this 3D object from all sorts of perspectives here. You can see here, I even managed to scan myself into a 3D object. I think I need to do it again because the camera wasn't being held still enough, but using 3D labs, I have a 3D me. And because my wife wasn't tall enough when she scanned me in, she wasn't able to get the top of my head. So now I have a giant hole in my head, but really, really fun to scan in real things and turn them into 3D objects. Another really cool tool from Luma Labs is a tool called Genie. At the moment, it's only available in Discord, but it allows you to enter a text prompt and generate a 3D object from that text prompt. So you can see somebody here wrote, Happy Fish Pixar Toy Style 4K Quality T-Pose, and it created these 3D objects of fish. If I type slash genie and then give it the prompt, a wolf howling at the moon, 
I get a few options that look like this. Now it gave me a couple moons and it gave me a couple wolves howling at the moon, but it's totally free so I can try as many times as I want until I get the perfect 3D object that I was looking for. There's also some really cool AI text to video models. My favorite of the moment is Pika, which this version on the website is in sort of closed beta right now, but they are rolling out to more and more people for free. However, they do have a Discord where if you don't have access to the website yet, you can still generate videos directly inside of their Discord. Pika Labs allows you to upload an image and animate it like this person did with their hamster or guinea pig here. Or you can do text image like this person did with the prompt of King Kong and it zooms in on King Kong standing in the ocean. I don't think Pika Labs is gonna be free forever, but as of the recording of this video, you can use Pika for free in the Discord and fairly soon you'll be able to use Pika on their actual website, which allows you to edit just certain areas of the video like I did with my hair in this video. And then we have Plasma Punk, which is a different style of video. This one you actually pick and upload music and it creates videos that move to the beat of the music. In fact, here's an actual video that I made with Plasma Punk. You can see that it actually changes the motion to the music. And here's another one that I made. According to their website, you can generate up to 20 seconds of video for free per day. Speaking of video, have you ever wanted to find a specific clip from a TV show or movie, but you couldn't remember exactly what it was from? Well, this playphrase.me is basically a search engine that searches for specific text from videos. So for example, I could do a search like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that you get to experience it with us. I'm so excited. I, I'm so excited for you. That is so great. I'm so excited. You can see it goes and finds a whole bunch of video clips that use those exact words. Awesome if you're trying to find B-roll or little memes for your video editing. If you work with audio a lot, you're gonna wanna know about Adobe Speech Enhancer. This is a tool where you can upload messy audio and it will clean up the audio for you. For example, here's a video of me with a crazy beard. It's actually a couple year old video, but there's a lot of background noise, a lot of wind. It's not the best audio. Um, I got Joe walking next to me and I'm gonna turn the camera on him in a second. Now I can take this video, toss it into Adobe Speech Enhancer. If I turn on Enhanced Speech, it now sounds like this. Um, I got Joe walking next to me and I'm gonna turn the camera on him in a second. You can hear it sort of cleaned up my voice a little and also removed all that wind noise. If you need music for your videos or podcast or whatever, check out moobert.com. This is an AI music generator. It does have paid plans, but as long as you give attribution to Moobert in the description of your video or podcast or wherever you're publishing it, you can actually use up to 25 songs per month just with that attribution. I've made quite a few songs with this tool already. In fact, one of them you may have even heard before if you watch my channel a lot. Again, that was generated totally for free with Moobert. And whenever I use that in one of my videos, I put the attribution in the description of the video. Want to make a fun meme song? Check out voicemod.net slash text to song. With this one, you could pick a style of song like this. La, 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 la. Or like this. La, 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 la. Pick the voice you like the best, like Jerry. Holy moly. Ho Give it some lyrics and press create song. And we get something that sounds like this. Subscribe to my wolf on YouTube. Shame of your chat to my home. A little more falsetto than I was expecting, but you get the idea. You can play around with it, have fun with it totally free to use. But if you really wanna get more dialed in with your AI generated music, check out suno.ai. This is another one where you gotta fire up Discord to use it, but once you're inside, you type slash chirp, you get this little dialogue box where you can choose the style of music you want. So let's go hip hop. You can enter your own lyrics or you can have ChatGPT write lyrics for you. I'll have ChatGPT write some lyrics, click submit, and it gives us two variations of the song. Yeah, artificial intelligence is the future, y'all. No look the one who's got the knowledge standing tall. Cold and bullies breaking down the AI walls. Subscribe to him, get ready for the rise and fall. And here's the other one. 
Artificial intelligence, it's the future, y'all. Matt Wolf's the one who's got the knowledge, standing tall. Coding brilliance, breaking down the AI walls. Subscribe to MG, ready for the rise and fall. I'm still blown away that this is free. You want the song to go longer? Yeah, press the button continue one or continue two, depending on which song you want even longer. You can check it out by going to suno.ai and clicking on the button to go to their Discord. Maybe you've already got a song that somebody else recorded and you need to remove the lyrics. Well, if you go to vocalremover.org, you can use AI to remove the lyrics and separate the music from the words. Here's a royalty-free song that I downloaded off of Motion Array that has some lyrics in it. I'm gonna kind of skim to the middle here. Chills. Maybe I want the lyrics removed from this song. Just drag and drop it straight into a vocal remover here. And now I have two separate tracks, one with the music, one with the vocals. If I jump into the music here, The lyrics are gone. If I take the music all the way down and bring up the vocals. I fall, sip so much my jewels. Did you dare slave or bruise what you're talking if you ain't talking? It separated them completely. Maybe you're not interested in music, but you need some sound effects or some narration. Well, check out Meta's new audio box. You can find it over at audiobox.metademolab.com. You can train your own voice and generate speech in the style of your sample, generate speech with a brand new voice in the style you describe, restyle a voice, create sound effects, erase noise from recordings, and even replace a portion of your audio with new sounds. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of these. Definitely check out this website and play around with them, but let's generate some sound effects. For example, a car driving through a puddle. It gives us two results. Here's number one. And here's number two. Let's try someone knocking on a door. And here's another one. Not always perfect, but it's free, so you can keep on generating sound effects until you get the result you're looking for. Now, this is brand new from Meta. I haven't even played with all of these tools myself yet, but definitely jump in, play around with them. You can find them at audiobox.metademolab.com. And finally, I wanna remind you about a tool that I talked about in a previous video called Pinocchio. You can find it over at pinocchio.computer, but Pinocchio spelled P-I-N-O-K-I-O. -I -I and this is basically a browser that makes it super easy to install open source AI tools. Things like Magic Animate, Comfy UI, Stable Diffusion, Face Fusion, Illusion Diffusion, Animate Diff, and so much more. If I pop open the Pinocchio browser here, you can see some of the ones that I've played with, but you can click on discover, find any open source AI tool you want, click on it and download it. And then once you've got it installed, it creates a quick launcher. So let's say I wanna play with Illusion Diffusion. I simply click launch. It will run its process here and it pops Illusion Diffusion up in my browser for me to play around with without any real tech knowledge on my part. It just does it. Now I made an entire video about Pinocchio and everything it can do for free. It's amazing if you want to play around with a bunch of the open source AI tools. You can find the video on YouTube by looking for this video here. And every single tool that I mentioned in this video, I'm going to link up below this video so you can easily find it super, super quick. Now, before I wrap up, I do want to remind you one last time, I do have the website futuretools.io where I curate all of the coolest AI tools that I come across. Every tool I mentioned in this video, I found by coming to this site, clicking on free, and then just picking out my favorite tools that I wanted to talk about. I also keep the AI news page up to date on a daily basis, and I have a completely free newsletter where I will send you my favorite AI tools and the most important AI news directly to your email inbox. Again, it's all over at futuretools.io. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos about AI, cool AI tools, tutorials, research, news, all that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Once I hit 500,000 subscribers, I'm giving away five free pairs of Meta AI smart sunglasses. I'm so close to that 500,000 mark. And if you subscribe, you'll be helping me out. And I'm going to pick five people and just send them a pair of these for free because it seems like a fun thing to do once I hit 500,000 subs. Thanks again for tuning into this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you so much to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate you guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.